Hello, my name's Steve from Statistics Fix, uh, and in this video today, I bought something else faulty off eBay, and I'm going to try my best to fix it. Now, this particular item, I think I know what it is from the shape of it. No, I shall just open it and then show you what it is. Now, as you can see, this is a black Wii remote. Wii remote. With a rather funky silicon. Uh, Silicon cover on it, which looks official. It's got Nintendo on. Um, so I've, I've got a, a Wii, obviously. Um, <laughs> I don't have any black Wii motes, and this one just just looked a little bit interesting. I'll just show you the listing. Okay, so this is the listing. So as you can see, I paid six ninety nine for it. I don't know if that's a good price. It's probably not. But I just wanted to I wanted to take one apart because I've never done it before. So it says faulty black Wii controller comes with motion plus accessory and rubber sleeve. Ah, I was wondering what that thing was. So that's motion plus. I know nothing about that if I'm honest. Um, so here we go. It says faulty black Wii controller. Um, controller is faulty. Think battery has leaked during previous storage. Residue can be seen in the photos. Controller has been cleaned up externally. A new batteries placed in but would not turn on. Do not know what would, be what would be required to make it work again. So I'm thinking that if it's had some leakage that it's probably gone through to the other side which is why it's still not working. Um, so let's try and have a look at the battery compartment. I, I don't even know how you get this thing off if I'm being, being honest. Oh Jesus. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect it to be there as well. Does this have batteries in? You see the corrosion all all around this, this connector here. Um, it's very wobbly as well. Is it supposed to be wobbly? Well, like I say, I've, no, I've never owned this before, so I don't actually know. But why would there be corrosion? Anyway. So if there's corrosion there, it means there is also a lot of corrosion inside here as well. You see that? Yeah, there you go. Looks pretty nasty. It's obviously just had batteries sign it for, for a good couple of years. So it's gonna need a good clean, that's for sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it apart and have a look inside. I'm gonna try and work out how this corrosion has got down here um, and then in fact should we test it first I suppose we should do let's pop some batteries in as expected absolutely nothing We just appear to have a lot of corrosion. I mean, I don't quite understand how it's got up here. There's sort of bluey green bits up here. Yeah, it looks like it'll come off. Okay, so I'm gonna get some isopropyl alcohol, a brush, start cleaning this up. Okay, I think I know why it doesn't work. I mean, I haven't particularly pressed very hard on this with a brush. Can you see that? Snapped, basically. Just <laughs> Brilliant. Literally, just as I picked it up then, it's, um, it's come off completely. So, if I can't solder that bit back on, I mean, it's snapped away from here. It's not like that bit solders to the board. It's the whole the metal is just it's just come away. So I don't know whether I can repair that. Well, I'll try. Makes this piece easier to clean anyway. It's a bit 
better in the side there now. I'm just going to check for continuity between the points on the board here and the output. So we've got six pins. Let's zoom in a bit. So, pin one. Yep, that's output. Okay. Pin five. Sorry, pin six. Yep, so they're all output. Okay. So. As long as this is clean and making a connection, there's no reason why that shouldn't work. What does it even do? Does it? I don't even know. Maybe I should look this thing up. I'm just going to pop all these bits in the ultrasonic cleaner. And that bit. And I presume I could do this bit if I take out these. Right, so I've removed, um, I did it off camera, uh, but I've just removed the, the negative terminal of the battery. Uh, there was no way I was gonna be able to get, get it back on. Um, you know, I, I can't solder metal to metal. I, I just don't think it's gonna work. Um, so what I thought I'd do, because this, negative terminal does kind of sit well, it sits in there so when when this is all back together it's quite solid in there it's not really going to go anywhere when it's all back together so I've just concocted this little bodge job of this wire it's hard wire um, it's out of a cat5 cable in fact and it just goes to the top piece here which is where the the battery will make contact and then what I'm hoping to do is just in the hole that's been left on the board well it's not a hole at the minute it's got solder in it but when I remove the solder I can push this through into the board and then when it when it fits into the plastic case in it I'm hoping it'll be solid and it'll make a good connection because otherwise I'm just gonna have to give up I think so it's worth a try Okay, so I, I think that's going to work. I mean, it, like I say, it's a bit of a bodge job, but let's see if we've got continuity. So we should have continuity between there and there, which we do. So, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so we're all back together. Okay, let's do this. No, nope, nothing. Let's just see if we're getting three volts. 
There we go, we're getting 3 volts. So it's definitely getting the power in. Let's just see if it's getting it on the other side. We have to take it apart again. Okay, so we're definitely getting 3 volts going in. So there's something wrong after that. Let's have a closer look at it. Right, I've been poking around on this board now, and I think I might have found something. So, you're probably not going to be able to see it. I'm going to zoom right in. I've been tracing these, uh, where, the, where the power goes, basically. Uh, so the three volts, as soon as it comes into the, to the board, I didn't notice it at first. Now there's a, there's a couple of fuses down here. There's one here. If I've got my multimeter on continuity, you can see that one's okay. And then there's a, there's a bigger one here, and that one's okay. That's F2, that's F3. I've been searching around for F1, and it's right here. When I go across it, nothing. So I think that fuse is gone. Now, I don't know what's caused the fuse to go. I don't know whether it's just because it's been tried tried to be turned on when there was corrosion on the board, I don't know. Um, I'm wondering whether if I just, just temporarily just put my tweezers either side of that, just see if this comes to life. Because obviously the fuse is there for a reason, I don't want to I don't want to make a permanent bridge over it, but yeah, I think I'm going to give it a try. And then if it um, if it if it does work, if it does come on, then I'll see if I can replace it. No. Okay, so I've taken apart my good Wii remote. I'm just going to go across the same fuse here on continuity. And there's definitely continuity there. So, let's just pop in these batteries. And that's that's what I was expecting that one to do. Right. So we know there's life in that. So let's go on to voltage. And what am I doing? I'm going from the negative to the front of the fuse is three volts. And then to the other side of the fuse, three volts. Okay, so that's definitely faulty on the black Wii remote. So we've got going into the fuse, we've got three volts. Coming out of the fuse, we've got 1.8. So there's something definitely not right there. So what can I do? I thought that just by bridging over that, just temporarily, it would work. But I'm, I guess not. Okay, I'm going to try and take this fuse off. Don't know if I'm going to have any luck, but I'm going to try. Okay, just going to add some flux around the area. I've got my hot air set to 400 and airflow is 70%. Well, let's see if I can do this.
Right, I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to risk breaking mine, but curiosity has got the better of me. <laughs> Famous last words. Uh, I want to know if this, I'm still going to call it a fuse, whether it is or not. I want to know if it is faulty. It's definitely reading different and there doesn't appear to be any continuity through it. So what I want to do is take the fuse off this one and then put this faulty fuse on here and see if it uh, see if it still works. And it seemed to come off quite easily before, so I'll leave the heat at 470%. I need to turn my airflow right down for this. It's blowing this low the shop because it's such a small. Wow, I won't be doing that again in a hurry. That was not easy. Seems to be on okay, so I'm just going to let it cool down, give it a clean, see if this one works. This is the good Wii Remote now with the faulty fuse. Let's just see if this does anything now. No, it doesn't. That could be because I've broken it, or it could be because the fuse is faulty. So while I'm in this position, I may as well put this fuse onto this board and see if it makes any difference. I don't I don't think it will, but I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, just pop some batteries in. See if it's made any difference. I don't think it will, but you never know. Right. Aha! <laughs> yes! Yes, it has. Excellent. Right, so 100% it was that fuse. I'm really pleased with that. That's, uh... <laughs> so, let's get this one all back together now. And let's see if we can, uh, see if we can connect it up to the Wii. Okay, so I managed to get the uh, the Wiimote to sync up. So now, if I press the power button on here, it should come on. And there we go. Well, blue light. Yeah, the button works. It's working just fine. Well, I would say that I don't actually know, um, but. A button works, home button works, plus and minus works. We've got one and two, I don't really know how to test them. But I imagine they're working okay. Um, so, the only thing I really need to test is this, is the Wii Motion Plus thing. Now I don't have any games, that, oh, I don't know, maybe I do, but I don't know of any games that use it. I suppose what I can do is I've got the um, classic controller. If I plug that in, and if it passes through to that, so let's just press home. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can move around as well. Right, okay, I'm happy that that works. Let's do some Mario Kart. Finish the video off. Right, 
I'm happy that everything's working. Obviously, I'm using the uh, the classic controller here, but the Wiimote worked. Um, so yeah, that's about it. It's uh, it was a nice little fix. Um, it was just the just the fuse in the end, um, which was. You know, I'm really glad that I could I could fault find it. Um, what made the fuse blow? I don't, I don't really know. I've got to assume it was something to do with the with the corrosion. Um, so yeah, that's uh, I'm I'm really happy. I've got myself a nice black black Wii remote out of it. Um, I will order up a replacement fuse so that I can get my original one working again. Um, hopefully, that should just be a straightforward swap. Um, and then that one will be back back working as well, and I, I don't imagine that they're very expensive, so this fix has been uh, been dirt cheap really. So yeah, well pleased with it. So that's uh, that's about it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe for more Can I Fix It and How To videos. Thank you. Take care.